everyone, this is ICO Talk. My name is Yelena, and today my guest is Alvaro Mantiglia, a founder of Skiles. Hello, Alvaro. Thanks for joining us today. Hello. How is everything going? Fine, thank you. So, please, first of all, tell us about the project. What is it all about, and what's the main idea behind it? Okay, so Skiles is a skill validation protocol on the blockchain. So, we are replacing resumes with a, a portable, unified, and trustworthy reputation, skill related reputation that is trying to change the paradigm uh, of all the resumes, certificates, diploma, way of uh, accessing to the labor market and to the talent, right? Okay, well, will you please tell us exactly how it works and what's the role of blockchain in the whole system? Okay, so basically what we do, so everything is based on a community of creators. So what we do is, is uh, so the Skiles is a protocol that is uh, with APIs, where all the applications that have uh, any kind of skill acquisition, skill improvement, or skill application uh, can connect to the protocol. Mm -hmm. So they connect to the community of raters and the raters just validate, review and validate every application that the user uh, upload. And if they are qualified, it is uh, tracked on the blockchain with mm -hmm. what we call proof of skill is the reputation associated to every skill. Uh, that has been like uh, put it in, in, in the game, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so then these raters are rewarded with the token, which, which is the Sky token, uh, mm -hmm. just to incentivize them to do the, you know, the rating. And also the, we will reward exceptional performance of the user with token as well, just because everything is based on meritocracy. So what we want to build is that everyone, anywhere, with any background, if no matter what your gender is, no matter uh, who you are, everyone, everyone can have the same opportunities to build a reputation, the, the talent reputation, and get access to the, to the, to the market, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and what are your main differences from other similar projects on the market? And whom do you consider to be your main competitors? On this okay, platform? so we, have, uh, we consider competitors uh, other platforms like uh, uh, DuckType.io, Duck for example, or uh, it could be also Springroll, or it could be uh, companies like uh, freelancer platforms that could be, uh, for example, BitJob or, mm -hmm. um, or not off, off blockchain platforms such as uh, freelancer.com, all these kind of, or oh, LinkedIn could be, could be a, a competitor. But the, the, different, the difference here is that we are trying to unify all these applications in, the in the same ecosystem. So all of them are like trying to fight alone uh, just in, in the space, right? Mm -hmm. So what we are trying to do is to unify everyone the same protocol because if you get um, all the users uh, in the same uh, you know in the same uh, way of uh, validation validating their skills, mm -hmm. then every everyone is in the same uh, you know in the same um, starting point. So mm -hmm. you can build your reputation across them and not just a way of getting this certificate plus this certificate plus this certificate. But yes. it's just these skills with all these proof skill associated to your skill that has been built all the journey of the user in all this application is just unified. So it's easier to, co to create, to compare, and at the end to share, right? That's, that's the point, the whole point. I see, I see. Tell us a few words about the history of the project, uh, actually, when was it launched, and uh, about the current stage of development of the project. What do you have today, actually? Okay, so we started a couple of years ago with the off-blockchain platform that we that we call workola.com, that is our current platform. So we started uh, because we felt the problem when we were uh, at college. So we, we struck because we are from Spain. So Spain is a country with a lot of unemployment rate among young people. So when we uh, just uh, about to graduate, we started to look for jobs, right? And we realized that it was very hard for us to show what we are able to do mm. because we just have the diploma, the, you know, the, the degree. We have a lot of people, a lot of peers a lot of mates that have the same degree than you and you are competing with other universities, with other countries. And then the only thing you have is a degree that is, a pack, is packing all your, your abilities right under the name. So this is a, a very, a very inefficient way of showing the real talent of a person. Right? So I struggled, a lot, I struggled a lot to find the first, you know, even the first internship. Uh, and then when, when, I, when I just decided to change it, right? So we started to build a, a, a platform that was trying to change the way that talent get access to work, 
and work at Access to Talent a couple of years ago. And then we evolved it, evolved it again. And, yet, and then we, we get to the, to, the, to the idea of using blockchain technology, not just for us, but for everybody, right? Because we were fight, fighting alone with the rest of the, of the players. So we just changed it and we decided to uh, aggregate everyone in the same, in the same uh, protocol. Because in a user perspective, you're not going to have 35 profiles in 35 different platforms. So okay. You will like something that unify everything in the same space, right? Mm. So what about today? Yes, do you have an MVP? So yes, yeah, so today we have the, the working platform that is fully working platform. So we have been a couple of years, so you, you can just check it and, and, and use it. The only thing is that we have it uh, with, everything is the same. So we have the rates, we have, we have the working, the points and everything, but we have it off blockchain. So right now we are integrating the blockchain part to our platform that is going to be the first application on top of our protocol. And we are uh, doing the, well, the tokenization of the system because everything is without the token. It's with points. And it's, it's the same, but it's just with points. So we're just tokenizing the points. Okay, so please tell us about the team. As far as I've got it, you've, you've got quite a young team. Tell us about it and tell us about the, the advisory board. Do you have any famous names in the team? Okay, so the team is, uh, we are nine in the team. So we have three co-founders and we have another six uh, people working with us. Uh, we have... Uh, uh, five of us are full time. Four of us were part time because we have been like hiring people uh, with the. At the end, we are startup, right? So we we try to keep us low cost so far. So uh, we are covering from business development to marketing to product, and 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 the advisory board. So we have people from the other startups, blockchain uh, advisors, for example. So we have uh, from, the, uh, from the project Real, it's a real estate project that did uh, an ICO in June last year. So we have a couple of uh, uh, main engineers uh, helping us with all the architecture and all the you know, integration. Then we, are also, we have also an advisor from LinkedIn in San Francisco, because at the end we are very, tri so we are very aligned with this kind of, you know, all these professional networks. So we have someone from LinkedIn that is helping us at, seeing how we can just get the, the validation part, so the LinkedIn validation part. So we are trying to build a system that could be integrated with LinkedIn as well. So mm. uh, he's, uh, he's uh, also the crypto guy at LinkedIn. So he has been like building the community around cryptos in LinkedIn. So he's, he's a very good guy in the team. And then they have a couple of, of investors from startup investor that have been uh, also investing in cryptos uh, for the last years. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a PhD uh, uh, professor and, and PhD researcher that has been doing his, his uh, PhD in uh, uh, gamification and soft skills applied into the gaming, game, gaming system. So at the end, we have a gamified system. So having all the soft skills and skills related people working with us uh, is also very important for us just to uh, keep... Uh, building the, the perfect system to, uh, and setting the rules of the, you know, the whole, of the whole ecosystem. That's, that's the right point. Okay, okay, I see. Let's now speak about the ICO. Uh, first okay. of all, tell us about the, the soft cap and the hard cap. Okay, so basically, so right now we are doing just the private resale. It's the private resale is the only thing that is, is open right now. It's only for accredited investor. Okay. So it's the public resale is expected to be done uh, in, in, uh, during the summer because of compliance with all the regulations. So we are trying to do uh, the best thing to avoid any possible, you know, regulations that are right now trying to, you know, like, uh, mm, try to, uh, so oh, there are a lot of regulations that are trying to, you know, uh, stop uh, how ICOs work. So change how ICOs work. So we're trying to do things the best way that we know right now because everything is changing. So right now it's only for a graded investor. So I will hard cap of the whole ICO is $8 million. The, the hard cap of the private pre-sale is $4 million and the soft cap is $2 million. And uh, the, private, the public pre-sale will be also uh, $4 million. So $4 million in the private, $4 million in the public. Uh, the soft cap of the public is... No, no. Uh, so the soft cap, the total soft cap is $2 million. Mm. The, the, the public hard cap is 4 million, the private hard cap is 4 million, right? and the whole is 8 million. Okay. That's the hard, the hard cap. 
I see. Uh, I see. What for? Uh, actually, do you need this particular sum? Tell us more about the key milestones of development of the project, about the roadmap. Okay, so to to define the the hard cap, so we did a, we did it from the in a user perspective. So we thought about how to get half the first half a million users uh, financed by the you know by by the by the by scales. So we just did the, all the calculation with the with the system that we have designed with uh, all the proof skill that associated the sky token that you need to get the whole journey, and we did it for half a million user. So that's, that was the first uh, way of uh, knowing how much we need. Then we did it from the other side, how, how much money we need to raise to be able to uh, do it as fast as we can uh, to be able to be in the market very, very early. So as early as we can as well. Mm -hmm. So the roadmap is at the end of this year. So we, we are doing the, the, the private pre-sale right now. Then we have four months to integrate the token with the, the, the pro that we already have, so the token in the, in the platform, because we want to have a, a token that is a real utility before doing the public sale. And for the time of the public sale, that, that the token is, is, is going to be already useful in the platform, then it's, it's, it's going to be sell for the main public, right? So okay. that's, that's expected to be during the summer, in this summer. Okay. And then for the, for the end of the year, so we, ha we have been, so we are going to be testing the, the 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 platform so workola.com with the token for uh, the, the next uh, uh, month just to debug test uh, you know and, and 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 everything and then build the, the next the next version of skiles and building um, adding the first partners to the to the ecosystem so first it's going to be limited for the platform that we already have just to test debug see what happened get the right you know the right rules uh, tests hands-on so because at the end a lot of things could happen so we we are more in the in the thing of doing things to learn things by learning mm -hmm. so uh, doing the this, this test is going to be only for the platform that we already have and once is, everything is is done we will open it for all the partners mm -hmm. Okay, and um, actually, um, tell us about the key benefits uh, of your tokens. What will be the key benefits for the token holders? So basically, the token for us is the gas of the ecosystem. So we need it for rewarding the the raters, basically. So incentivizing incentivizing the raters and and rewarding rewarding the users that have us exceptional performance on the platform. So that's the main usage of, of the token. Mm -hmm. So then it's also a way of getting a cross application journey because at the end the token could be used in all the application of the ecosystem. That is one of the rules of the of the ecosystem. And then uh, so that so we are we are really thinking on the utility of the token. We are not thinking in uh, what benefits could have for uh, uh, you know in a, in an investment perspective. Mm -hmm. So because it's a utility token, so it's, the thing is the more the user that use it, the more the token is is at the end useful. And then well, you can expect that it's going to be uh, more valuable, right? Okay, anyway, if you don't get enough, uh, what will happen with the project if you don't achieve even the, the soft cap? So we already had a, a, a seed round. Uh, we close it in June. So we are already working on it. We are also uh, talking to private investors to have uh, more equity financing as well. As well. So we will, we will uh, do the the ICO to do the tokenization of, of the platform, just to be able to be quicker and, and, and you know, to be able to be ready for the market as soon as, 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 as we can. Mm -hmm. And we will be continuing with the project anyways, even if we don't get the, the soft cap. So we will, be, we will be tokenizing the system because we need the token for our, for our platform. So we believe that this is, so we believe that this is the way of, changing an industry so we are using blockchain to change an industry to really impact what the internet have hasn't been able to to impact so i don't think that blockchain is going to change everything but it's going to change uh, all the all the industries that haven't uh, haven't been changed by the the, the internet right uh, the, the the internet as we know it right now hmm. so i think that this is a, a great opportunity of changing a way that is inefficient, a system that is inefficient. So we will be working very hard as we have been doing for the last few years 
and a half. So we will be just working on it just to try uh, to change the, the way that everything works. Even if it, at the end, uh, you know, the, the ICO the, doesn't, doesn't work as we expect. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And what do you personally think about the future of the ICO market in general? So my personal opinion is that it's going to evolve. So my personal opinion is, for me, ICOs have, has, have been the evolution of uh, different ways of financing uh, entrepreneurship, right? So they started with uh, um, a kick, uh, like the Kickstarters, so the, the crowdfunding campaigns. Then we, we, they came up with the idea of equity crowdfunding. And then in my opinion, so ICO is a, an evolution of crowdfunding. Just the problem with crowdfunding is that the, the basic crowdfunding is, is it works only for uh, you know, social projects art, uh, social project, because it's more philanthropy. Yeah. There, there is no expectation of benefits. Then the equity of crowdfunding is open to the main public. But the problem is that the average person uh, doesn't think about the long term. So if, you, if they invest like little money in a company and they have to wait seven years that this, this company is sold to get the money back, there is some fr uh, friction points in this uh, in this uh, whole crowd equity crowdfunding. So I think that the ACO is like the evolution of that, but it's just uh, getting access, giving access to the average person to be able to invest or buy uh, parts of uh, the usage of a company that is a technology game changer, right? Mm -hmm. But with the liquidity of uh, not so long-term uh, investment, like short term, mid term liquidity. I think that for the main public is a very good idea to give everybody the, the opportunity to invest in technology and change the world, right? Mm. The, the thing is that how, how we know it by now and because of all the scammers and all these, you know, all the things that have been around, all the shit coins, all the people are just trying to build things because it's, you know, there is money here. The problem with that is that it's hurting so it's, it's, it's hurting the, the, the whole ICO as sure. we know it right now. Mm -hmm. So in my opinion, it's going to be an, an evolution of the ICO that we know right now with more, uh, with more governance, with, with ways of uh, just getting um, milestones, so having milestones to get, the, for example, the, 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 the funds you raised. So how you get the, the funds you raised uh, during the whole process of the uh, you know, development of the, of the platform, for example, is I think this is going to be the future of, of the ACOs. Like, they, there is also more and more people uh, doing more private pre-sale uh, than public, but I think that this is, 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 is yeah. I think it's not so good because the ICO itself is thought to be, uh, uh, to be this, so it's designed to be um, available for everybody, right? Yeah. If, if, if you just, close it to private investor is the same as having venture capital, but with a quicker liquidity. Mm -hmm. But I think the hybrid between them is going to be at least the short term future of, of ICOs, mm -hmm. but because of regulations and, and you know, all this stuff. Okay, okay I see. Yeah. Our okay. usual question uh, to sum it up. Okay. Uh, why shall I invest in Skulls? Because Because you think that you are going to change uh, the world or the way that people uh, can get an opportunity to uh, build their own uh, you know, future with their limitation. This is the first, the first uh, reason because you believe in a way of changing uh, how the things work and because you expect that this is going to work, work and, 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 and grow and at the end the value of the money you invested is going to grow as well. So. We, I, I cannot say that it's going to grow because, you know, you cannot say that. Uh, but you can imagine that if a lot of people uh, are using the, the system and more and more people and more and more big partners are joining the, the protocol, that this is the way of, of growing this. Uh, so the demand is going to go out. And because there is a fixed supply, you can imagine that, right? You cannot say it, but you can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Alvaro, then thank you so much for this interview and for being with us today. Thank you. Thanks a lot and have a very good day.
Thank you. And I remind you that today my guest was Alvaro Mantilla, a co-founder of Skiles. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch more interesting videos. Bye-bye.